Hey, good morning and welcome to Insider Training with Improvify. It's great to have you here. We have special guests here from Improvify to help you with the Q&A session at the end. So again, this training will be recorded. Um, it is Tuesday and I'm doing it right now and I'm headed out to Wichita to do some training tomorrow, Wednesday. And it's gonna be put into the Program Training Center. And the reason why we record these and put them back into the Program Training Center is if you, let's say you hire a, a new account rep and you want them to go and learn like using financing to boost sales in your conversion processes or the three buying personas, send them back in there, watch the trainings. So all of them are recorded and put in there on a weekly basis for you to go back and enjoy. So let's get this training going. I like this one. This one really makes sense. This is about conversion and connecting and closing more jobs by using financing, which is our topic that we pretty much always talk about. So let's dive into this. So positioning financing as the value added service. This is a pretty interesting topic because when I do a lot of trainings, um, people will ask me like, how do I price financing into my job? And I always will repeat back, financing is a product and it's actually built into your system. And when I say system, it could be whatever you install. It could be a roofing system, it could be a generator, it could be windows and doors, it could be siding, it could be really anything in the home, painting, foundation, cement, doesn't matter. Financing is a product and the product helps you close more jobs when positioned properly to the public. Now, let me see, I got this. All right, I don't need cash on me, I should. I should have some emergency bucks in here to pay the valet at the airport, stuff like that, but I don't. I'm like everybody else. Most people nowadays tap a Apple pay phone or tap a credit card or slide a card and they just pay it off by the end of the month. A lot of people are adding up debt. Matter of fact, I did a report yesterday inside of the Program Training Center private group on Facebook talking about the debt in America, which is really important because financing is what's helping these people, of course, accumulate more debt. However, people don't have money to pay for the things that you sell. So value added service, yes. Um, thank goodness you're here and your competitors aren't because you're, if your competitors aren't offering a payment option at the point of sale or in the front or the middle or the back end, early always and often as we train, they're gonna lose out. So let's look at some of the stats. 55% um, of home improvement projects are financed nowadays. It was a lot less 15 years ago. Most people had cash. Um, they had cash on hand. They were paying check, credit card. Like they're just, that's how they were paying for it. Now people are actually seeking a finance or a payment solution and then they're hiring. So when we talk about advertising and promoting it early, always and often on your websites and on your calls and on front desk Tom or front desk Becky, letting consumers know that you have finance options is key. 55% are financing projects now. Uh, most people don't have $5,000 in their checking or their savings account. So you're walking in there with a $10,000 project, assuming them to pay cash. Don't. Customers prefer to spend um, spread costs rather than pay up front. I mean, that's just a natural feeling. That's when you go to Amazon to buy the thing that costs a thousand bucks. They're giving you four equal payments. Buy now, pay later. It's huge across America. So again, financing is the value add. Do the same. Financing removes price as a barrier. Focusing on the conversation of value. You could really, really scare somebody away with a big ticket. Instead of doing that, we reduce it. Mr. Smith, a lot of our clients have preferred the 12 months same as cash, you know, the ones that don't want to pay interest. And then some of our clients have preferred a loan with the payment option. Any of those of interest to you? So by removing that barrier of the price tag, we're reducing it to talk about the value of the home service that we're installing. So make that a key point in your uh, in your training. Let me reduce my big old head. There we go. That's better. So how do we position this? How do we position it so it's not salesy, slimy? You're adding value to the relationship. Positioning is very easy. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we have a consumer credit center here at Chris's Roofing. I'm not sure how you're looking to pay. Would you like to use our money or would you like to use yours? Not pushy. I don't care if they use financing or not, but I mentioned it. So present financing it's an option, not as a last resort. Like, it's $20,000, it's $20,000. How are you gonna pay, how are you gonna pay? Well, I, I don't know. Well, we do, we have financing. Like, no, put it up front. When, when I train you 
on how to position the micro yes at the point of sale with your laminate, you're setting it down on the table and you're going to do your inspection. When you come back, you've already planted the seeds and the crumb, the, the cookie crumbs all over the place that you have a solution, not as a last resort. OK, frame it as convenience. Get the project you want without waiting. Oh, geez, we've got to wait to get my bonus or we have to wait for tax money to come back before we do this project. Mr. Smith, you don't have to wait. We have a 90 day deferred and we can do 12 months same as cash with a minimum monthly payment. Or if you prefer a low monthly payment option, which option works best for you? We can start the project right now. And that goes for insurance as well. Right. Um, emphasize affordability, low payment options, higher quality projects, accessibility. So, oh, I was on with somebody yesterday. His average ticket is fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, most of his customers are fluent customers. His project sizes are $50,000, yet he can still offer those customers a low monthly payment option under 500 bucks a month. Low monthly payment options, high quality project accessibility. We're going to talk a little bit more about that as this training goes on, as the upsell, the cross sell, and then showing them the payment differential of that. Because in our financing tool, we're always going to give you max approval. So use assumptive languages. Hey, out of these two options, which option works best for you? Good, better, best. Best, better, good. Low monthly payment. Low monthly payment. That's how we assume the sale. Use assumptive language that they're already going to say yes. Awesome. Strategies to increase the sales conversion. What are the strategies? Well, the psychology of the payment options is quite simple and your consumers see it all the time in everything we do. Let's think about this for a sec. So um, we used to live in Florida and we had Publix down there. <laughs> we go very rarely would we go grocery shopping. But what we did, we would go in the grocery store and we would see BOGO, buy one, get one. Now you don't need the box of Cheez-Its, but you see the big red box of Cheez-Its and then you buy the red box of Cheez-Its. You don't just buy one, you buy two. Why? Because they're giving you one free. That's the psychology behind the sale. So if it fits the budget and the needs, even if they don't want it, sometimes they'll buy it. Okay, so break down large costs into small payments makes them feel manageable. We do this with automobiles. Nobody goes out and buys a $100,000 truck. Well, some people do. Some people go out and buy a hundred thousand dollar truck. I don't have it like that. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars laying around to go buy a truck. We buy the truck on a lease because of the monthly payment, or we buy it on a seventy-two. Or geez, they're probably stretching out the payments to ten years now on those things because it makes it manageable and affordable. Flexible options to reduce sticker shock and price objections. You are not selling a high ticket anymore. You are offering. 12 months same as cash or 18 months same as cash with a 90 day deferred, or if you'd like a low monthly pin option, payment option with no prepayment penalty. When you solve the affordability problem, you'll close more deals. When you go into the program training center and you study and you read the objections and the obstacles and the scripts that we've created for you, you'll see a lot of them lead back to this. The hidden objection isn't that they don't want to do business with you. The hidden objection is they can't afford it. So why not just tackle that up front and even down to price conditioning to see if this is even in their wheelhouse. And you could do that now by the use of financing. Presenting financing at the point of sale. Well, how the heck do we do it? Well, this is all we do. We train you how to do this. All right. Introduce um, financing early, always and often from the front desk, setting the appointment for when you show up to your website, to your marketing materials, to your laminate to the you walking through the home. Oh, we did a project like this a few weeks ago. Guy ended up using our promotional program. What's that? Yeah, we've got an 18 month same as cash right now. No interest. I didn't like pitchy. I just dropped a little bit of love all over the place. We did a great project like this a few months ago. Customers ended up using our 12 month same as cash. I just tied it into a story of a job that we did to make them go, oh, wow, maybe we should do that too because your customers aren't in your world. They're in their world. They're living their jobs, their bills, their kids, their pets, their sports, their things that they do. They aren't doing what you do every day as a professional, but you're a professional. So you know how to mention it, drop little crumbs all over the place, mention it early, always and often, handle objections, obstacles, and rebuttals because you're a pro. 
They don't go to school. They're not here on this call right now learning how to do this stuff. They're out doing their life. So when you show up and you're prepared to mention good, better, best, best, better, good, align with all of our customers' budgets, that's what we do here at Chris's Roofing. You're a pro. This is just what you do for a living, all right? Show the monthly payment breakdown instead of the total cost. Um, yeah, that, that's self-explanatory. That is sticker shock. That is payment shock. I'm sorry, that's price shock. You bring it down to a payment, make it affordable, and then give them the options to choose. For just 99 bucks a month, you can get this entire kitchen repainted with premium materials for just, just underlying 99 a month, under 100 bucks. You can get this entire kitchen completely repainted so you'll actually love it now with our premium materials. There's a bunch of keywords in there. The entire kitchen, not just one wall, <laughs> for just only premium value. This is what you need to be doing in your sales presentations. All right, here's some case studies. Cash buyer, remember uh, last couple weeks training ago? Cash buyers typically like 12 month or an 18 month or a promotional program because they want to pay back on their terms. And they don't want to pay interest because I got an 800 credit score and I don't pay interest on anything. That's fine, Mr. Smith. Lots of our clients choose the promotional program and don't have interest. That's why we have this program, blah, blah, blah. And then you go right into it, okay? So, Budget concerns on an exterior repaint, financing for 12 months, same as got to close the deal. Use 12,000. This is like us. I used this example yesterday with a painting company that just came on board. Um, Tiff and I had to get our, our, we wanted to get, see, remember, want, need, ego, grudge. We wanted our appearance of our roof to look better. So we repainted it with a Sherwin Williams radiant barrier, blah, blah, blah. And the painting company was amazing. Their presentation was amazing. Their pitch was amazing. Everything was amazing. However, here's where things got screwed up for the guy. He could have got the whole house, but he didn't offer us a payment option. It was 36, 3600 bucks for the roof to be painted. That was it. I said, do you have our payment options? He said, no. <laughs> All of our customers pay cash, check, or credit card. He could have gotten the whole job. Now, I don't know if I would have done a monthly payment because we were selling the house. I could have just paid off the proceeds or if I would have done a 12-month savings cash. But if he presented me the option, because I'm a cash buyer, I have a high credit score and I don't like to pay interest, I might have hired him and paid him 7000 for the entire home, the roof and the exterior, because the exterior needed it. You follow me? He lost 50% of a ticket because he didn't offer me the option. Can't get better of a case study than me. Me and my wife, we went through it. We would have said yes. But we, we just hired him for the roof and he was gone. Best presentation I've ever seen. His, his, his folder was the best home improvement product presentation I've ever seen in my life in all the years of doing this. But he missed it. He missed the payment. Next, payment buyer, remember? Payment buyers are budget buyers. We'll buy it if it fits in our budget. My cell phone costs $189 a month. My car payment costs 605. My mortgage is X. I'll buy these things if I can afford them. Customer wanted to upgrade their high quality materials, but they just they couldn't justify, justify the cost. Well, if you create the low monthly option, they can justify the cost because of the cost. And that's why we do good, better, best, best, better, good to show them what the affordability factor is. Think about that. There's two different types of buyers you'll probably bump into. One is a cash buyer. They like promos. The other is a payment buyer, budget buyer. If it fits their payments, they'll buy from you if they can justify the cost. Awesome. Upselling, increasing the average sale. Very easy. Your system will automatically give you max approval. With max approval, you can have a whole new conversation at the point of sale. Mr. Smith, we showed you the X, Y, and the Z. And congratulations on that approval to $50,000. Let's see what the payment differential is between eight, 10, and 12. And if it's only 39 bucks a month, the wife can will typically go, we're gonna get the best or we're gonna get the better. Now, when will they buy good? It's okay if they buy good. If you've done your survey properly, if you've asked the proper questions, how long are you looking to stay in your home? What are you doing this project for? If you do the survey and you collect the information up front, 
you'll know how to close better. Why? Because you're going to use that tie-in on the survey of the answers that they gave you to tie in the close. Now, if you came to my house to do the painting project on the roof and I said, look, I just need to get this painting because I want it to look good because we're listing to sell next month. I don't care about better or best. I want to get the roof looking good. I want to sell the house and I'm out, baby. I'm going to pay that loan off with my proceeds. See you later. You don't want to try to upsell me to something. I'm not going to be in the house anymore. I'm gone. So ask the survey question. Why are you doing the project? What's leading you to bringing us here today? What are your expectations of this? Well, we're just looking to make it look good because the realtor told us our curb appeal sucked. Like, boom, we're going for just good. Let's get this thing done, all right? Um, the difference between monthly payments is, is crazy. Now, understanding your system, you'll get max approval, and then you've got all the different years that you can choose from for the options. So use that accordingly in your sales process for good, better, best, and best, better, good. And typically, your homeowners will lean in on, on best and better if they're gonna be staying in the home. So for just 24 bucks a month, you can upgrade to our premium paint with a 10 year warranty. So I'm increasing the value of what I'm doing and I'm enticing them to say, hey, for less than this, a cup of Joe a day, you can have our premium paint with a 10 year warranty over the three year warranty product. Uh huh. Ah, best $7 cup of coffee I've had all day. All right, financing edge. Yeah, you're here they're not. It's like literally like you're here. Your competitors are not. But if they are, just say hello to them. See them on the streets. Be nice to them because they'll probably end up coming to work for you someday anyway. So contractors offering financing close way more than 50% of the deals on average. It just, it's a fact. And it, I get these guys that still say to me, Chris, we don't offer financing, man. All of our customers pay cash, check or credit card. Sure they do. It's because you're not offering financing. So how the heck do you even know if they are. And oh, by the way, if you are offering and accepting credit cards, you actually are offering financing, just really, really bad financing, because more than likely you're up building in the 3% to cover the cost of the swipe fee. And number two, you've now just put a major constraint on your consumer to pay that $30,000 or that 15 or the 10 or the eight or the seven or the five, doesn't matter what the number is by the end of the month, or else they have to suffer probably 29% on a, on a credit card that's revolving and they'll never get out of. So you're actually doing a disservice to your customers by not offering them 12 months same as cash or a payment option over 20 years with no prepay. You follow me? Like an installment loan is way better than a revolver on a credit card that will just keep accumulating debt. Financing positions your business as a customer focused and professional. Absolutely. You, Chris Scoville Roofing, have a consumer credit center. We can help you with all or any of your loan needs. How would you... How would you like to pay for this? Would you like to use our money or would you like to use yours? We've got promotional financing. We've got long-term. We've got secured. We've got unsecured. We can make it happen right here, right now. You're professional. And I say this in my training all the time. If you don't win the deal, ruin it for the guy that follows. Because they probably don't have a consumer credit center. They probably aren't positioning a financing solution early, always, and often. Yeah, you know, customers are more likely to choose you over competitors that don't offer payment options. It just makes you look more professional. And if you need help on this, um, get with us. We have a, a great guy in the marketing and advertising industry that will audit your website to make sure that your finance page looks good. And, and we're talking about conversion here. We want to convert these people to your client. So we want to make sure that your page on your website looks good. Okay, so if you have any questions on that, reach out. We're here to help. Offering financing makes you the one-stop solution. It sure does. You can get it all done right here. Not only can we give you this great product and this great service and this great warranty, but we can make it affordable. And you don't have to go to your bank or your credit union. We can do it right here, right now. Soft credit pull, instant, boom, done, sign, let's go. What's the action plan? What do we do from here? Position financing as a value-added service to empower your homeowners? Yes. Use flexible payment options to eliminate objections and increase conversions? Just mention it. Flexible payment options are... I don't know how you're looking to pay. You want to use our money? You're going to use yours. 12 months, same as cash, low monthly payment option. We can help you either way. Oh, you want to see equity in your house? We can do that too. Leveraging financing to upsell premium service and boost average project size. Yes. Good, better, best. Best, better, good. Congratulations. You're approved to $50,000. Here's what the cost is on the better. Checklist. Practice presenting financing options confidently. Those who are confident 
and use body posturing at the point of sale, sell more. Those that kind of are like this, like, hey, would you like to, uh, you want, want to see if you can like get like applied and, and maybe we can get you some money. I don't know. The payment might be high, but let's see if we get you approved. No. Mr. Smith, we have a consumer credit center at Chris's Roofing. It takes five minutes to apply. It's a soft credit pull. Let's see what we can get you. Exuberant. Congratulate them when they get approved. High five, knuckle bump, elbow wing, chicken wing. I don't care what it is. Be excited about it. If you sell from your back pocket, you'll lose jobs. If you think it's, uh, if you think it's expensive, they think it's expensive. So be confident. Use good, better, best or best, better, good. Integrate financing to your pitch early in the sales process. Mr. Smith, I'm going to set this, um, my information down while I'm up on your roof. Where can I set this down so when I'm done with the inspection, we can come on and go over all that information. What you're setting down is your consumer credit center laminate on their table. So they look at it while you're gone. It's your silent sales assistant. Awesome. All right. It's your turn. Your turn to talk. Have at it. It's an open forum. Learn from each other and share. Again, this recording is now put into the Program Training Center, and this deck is put into the Program Training Center for future use. Have a blessed day. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.